Recipe number eight from my great grandmother's cookbook, spinach and egg casserole. I cooked up some spinach because I didn't have any from a can, then made a little nest, put in a nice little eggy egg, made up a white sauce with butter, flour, milk, salt and pepper. Added Parmesan to it and then just plopped it on top. Sprinkle some paprika, paprika, and bake it. And here we go. Spinach and egg casserole. I am pumped for this white sauce. It's like the base for cream tuna on toast or cream chip beef on toast. <sighs> Mmm. <laughs> Don't forget the egg. Oh my God. Mm. I could eat this all day, every day. This is so good, uh, Ruth. You've outdone yourself, lady. The funny story about my great grandmother, whoever knew her would tell you that she's a terrible cook, which tells me that these recipes probably came from other people in the family, hence family recipes. She would make mashed potatoes, cook the potatoes in the water and use the water as the milk, add a little salt perhaps, but that was it. Can you imagine how that tastes? Mm, mm, mm. I have to love spinach to like this because it's a whole lot of spinach. Muy delicioso. Sea good. That's about all the languages I know. Without the white sauce, it's not very good. It's pretty bland. Stay tuned for recipe number nine. Breakfast and lunch of champions. Yeah. 